Okay, now we're going to look at graphing by a table of values. So here is the question, graph y equals 2x minus 5. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up <coughs> my table of values. And I start with an x, and I'm going to end with an actual point, and that's y. What I like to do now is take my original equation and write it with y on the left. So I'm going to reverse this and reverse the y and I'm going to write it this way. 2x minus 5 equals y. Now I then write out the equation three times but wherever I see the letter x I put a bracket. 2 bracket minus 5 equals. 2 bracket minus 5 equals. I then go here and invent any x number I want. Okay, and it doesn't matter which one you invent. Uh, I like having some negatives. Uh, I like having zero. It's a really easy number to work with. And uh, then I might have a positive. Okay, now all you do is you plop each of these into the bracket. So I'm going to throw negative 2 in there, I'm going to throw 0 in there, and I'm going to throw 4 in there. And think of this as sort of a little dance. Negative 2, you have to find out who negative's partner is for the dance. So I now say 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 subtract 5 is negative 9. So for this dance, negative 2 is going to go to the dance with negative 9. I throw 0 in. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 subtract 5 is negative 5. So 0 is going to go to the dance with negative 5. And now I throw 4 in. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 5 is positive 3. Okay, so 4 is going to go to the dance with 3. Now when you plot those points, they should all be in a straight line. Okay? If you do not have an x squared or a y squared or a square root or something like that, if it's just x to the power of 1 and y to the power of 1, you'll get a straight line. So negative 2 and negative 9, I go over 2 and I drop down 9. That's this point right here. Then I go to 0 and negative 5. So I go over 0 and I drop down negative 5. So there's the point 0 and negative 5. I'll put axis through them. Now I go to 4 and 3. So I go over to positive 4 and up positive 3. And I put an x there. If you've done everything correct, then you'll get a straight line. That isn't an overly straight line. But if you've done everything correct, you'll have a straight line going through your graph. So the first point here, second point there, third point there. And notice I've drawn this line going through the graph and putting arrows on either end. I don't stop at my last point I plot. I go right through. Any point on that graph should solve the original equation. Okay, for instance, here is a point. Uh, I've gone six across. Okay, six across, and uh, it ends up going seven up. And sure enough, two times six minus five equals seven. Twelve minus five equals seven. Seven equals seven. Okay, so any point on the graph will solve the equation. Any point that solves the, anything that solves the equation will be on the graph.